Sorry. You can't blame the book for what's inside it. Track three on this Think album journey is um, Once You Get a Taste, which is originally called Chef Jam, because, and it will be called that in a lot of our minds for a long time. Um, we've got to get rid of that somehow. I wrote it in Jamaica, um, and it was originally about um, mm, my host in Jamaica. He's a, he was a, he was a brilliant man, but he was an ex music industry guy. And he had this really nice walk one day, and he was just sort of talking about how. He left the music business for a while because it was just just grinding him down, and he was slowly kind of getting back into it. And and we kind of had this really nice discussion about um, how you can walk away from the things you love because that you'll always love them and they'll always be there. You can it's okay to walk away and come back as many times as you like. So originally it was like a song about the fact that um, there'll always be a the the. Music business is an enormous table, and there's always something to do. There's a place for everybody. You know, you can. You don't have to be the chef. You know, you can be like the cook, or you can be the guy that makes the table, or you can be the guy that sharpens the knives. Or, or there's so many options to make it work. And so it started like that, and then I kind of fell down a bit of a kind of modern country sort of rabbit hole on it, and listened to a lot of modern modern stuff really beautiful vibes, obviously there's a lot of, um, you know, country lean going on and it's just, it's just, it got a really nice vibe on it, so it kind of turned into a song about once you get a taste, which is, you know, it's kind of like, once you, once you, once you, once you get a taste, you kind of want to, you, you'll definitely be back uh, for more, and I think maybe I'm talking about, you know, maybe success, maybe just that feeling of just like, oh, that feels great, you know? Maybe that feeling of when you write a song and it's, it just sounds brilliant, then, you know, you're chasing the next chorus or the next song, the next moment. And, um, you know, it's also very much about um, judgment and blame, you know, not, not, not pointing the finger at anybody or, or blaming anything for what's happening. We're all, you know, the victims of our own choices. So, um, you know, just try and have an open mind about it all. Um, and I think it's got a guitar solo on it, which I think possibly is the first think guitar solo, maybe? I mean, Flood, when we recorded for Sergam, he absolutely, he absolutely forbade any type of solo action, which suits us fine because we're just not that band. But then on this track, it just gets to the kick in at the end, and I just kept hearing this kind of, you know, not for type guitar solo going on, so 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 we went there, and it passed it passed through the flood filter. Again, this this track went through a lot of incarnations, but it was the path of least resistance that was the one that we took eventually, which is just get going, have a good time, get to the end, have a moment, and you're done. Keep it simple, and it really worked. Um, so it does have a solo at the end, which is kind of cool, and it has a nice some strings going on at the end. But it's really just to get you into that emotional, emotional space. I mean, I see this. See, once you get a taste, is very much kind of like a. It's a very relaxed song. I wrote it in a very relaxed place, um, and I think we managed to keep that throughout the process. Um, and me and Flood back and forth this track an awful lot. This, this went through many. Of our private focus group, lots of gnashing of teeth and wringing of hands on this one because it's so simple. A any move you make with something this simple can change the dynamics, you know. And, and we just wanted something simple and honest, and and that's where we got to in the end. Something that was honest. I think this is like version 28 or something. A lot of versions.